on the freeway. And Mike, his next decision uh, as far as freeways go is going to be the, the 710. That's what's right up ahead of him, correct? Unless he's already moved past it. Uh, no, I, did you? I think the 91 is going to come to a close here pretty soon, so he could go uh, north or southbound on the 110, if that's what you said. Yeah, that he has a choice to make there north or southbound. We'll see what happens there. And uh, it's the speeds that he is going, it shouldn't take him more than just a few seconds. Uh, but you can see how fast he is passing these cars, and luckily, no accidents. But you can see just how close he is coming to these cars, uh, slow down, uh, slowing down a little bit here as he gets back into the HOV lane. Yeah, yeah. Shoemaker, he's now northbound Norwalk Boulevard, wrong side of the road here, and uh, what's he going to do? There's no traffic coming at him that we can see. The intersection looks clear. It looks like he's going to try to get back on the 91 freeway again on uh, Norwalk Boulevard here northbound headed towards the 91. He did make a couple of turns around a commercial area. Uh, they did not utilize that pit maneuver, whether they were waiting for permission or they just didn't like the conditions, we don't know. Uh, people getting onto the same frequency and now it looks like a freeway on ramp. It's the 91 freeway mm -hmm. I'm hearing, so uh, we will see what direction this person's going to be going. Eastbound. Oh, Ooh. and uh, all right. Clip that truck, or the truck clipped him. Wow, Keeps on, keep going. on going. Wow. Wow. Just uh, he didn't judge that space very well and got clipped. Is this from Corona Police Department? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you been able to determine, in fact, if this is a stolen car or not? You know, I have not. That's either uh, Riverside PD or Riverside Sheriff that has that information. Okay. But you said this this person was speeding initially, and that's why officers pulled pulled the car over. Correct. It was speeding on uh, on Sixth Street, and uh, he tried to pull it over in the area of Fourth uh, and uh, Main Street. And here Looks we go. Like Looks like uh, the, the well, the vehicle is slowing down. Could be running out of gas. Uh, so as you're watching this with all of us, uh, explain to us what's going through a police officer's head at this point, or the head of a highway patrol officer as they as the pursuit comes to an end. What are what are you trying to do here? You know, you're wondering what what actions the the driver is going to take. You know, what action is, is, am I going to take? Uh, is he going to take off again like he did before? There's just so much stuff that goes through your mind. You got your guns drawn. These folks have their guns drawn. What are they yelling at him right now? What they're are they gonna saying? Be, they're going to be yelling at him, uh, driver, throw out the keys, put your hands up, step out of the car, and hopefully he'll obey the commands as, as requested. Mm -hmm. And now at this point, they're still concerned that there could be other people in that car as well, right? Correct. Exactly.